Mega evolutions have become an important part of the sixth generation of Pokemon, arguably the most controversial part of the sixth generation in the competitive scheme of things, and it is exciting to see a favorite Pokemon transform into something even more badass. Only a select few Pokemon received the Mega Evolution so far in this generation. Some deserve the Mega Evolution more than others, I guess. While a handful could be argued that they should not have been receiving this Mega Evolution. But that is for another video. This video will pertain to the design of each Mega Evolution on this list, and which designs I believe are the best. If you disagree with any of my assessments, please feel free to leave a comment below to, you know, tear me apart. It's a good way to get out your frustration if you uh, disagree, I guess. But just remember that these assessments are in regards to their designs, not if the Mega Evolutions are viable in competition. The questions I will be asking and thinking about inside my head while basing my decisions on these Mega Evolutions are as follows. Does the Mega Evolution keep the inherent look of the non-Mega design? Does the Mega Evolution notably change the original design? Does the Mega Evolution improve the original design? Would you go on a date with the Mega Evolution? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Does the Mega Evolution design fit in the Pokemon universe? Does the accessories added to some of the Mega Evolutions improve the overall design? Let's begin. Number 10. Mega Ampharos. Mega Ampharos, the Fabio of Mega Evolutions. Just look at that gorgeous white mane for a minute and really let it soak into your mind. When Ampharos Mega evolves into Mega Ampharos, not only does it gain flowing white hair, it also gains the Dragon type. I'm still a bit unsure and confused why Ampharos was given the Dragon type. And yes, I do realize the Japanese name of Ampharos, Denryu, translates into Electric Dragon. Regardless of that, Mega Ampharos brings the beauty to the Mega Evolutions. Along with the white hair and new dragon typing, Ampharos ears grow into horn-like appendages, and the previously sheared tail has become a woolly bush with several small red gems. The red gem on Ampharos' forehead has grown slightly larger on Mega Ampharos and glows vividly. This is not the most creative Mega Evolution out there, but this Mega Evolution still does a very good job of keeping Ampharos as Ampharos, while adding slight modifications to the design. Sure, you can always argue, well, it's just a wig and a bushy tail and that's it. And you know what, that's true, but that wig and bushy tail works incredibly well in this instance. Number 9. Mega Tyranitar. Seen as a version exclusive Pokemon to Agron and Mega Agron, Mega Tyranitar also comes in as being super bulky and tank like. The spikes on the kneecaps are a nice touch as well, and I cannot complain about how great the longer tail looks. I do for some reason find his spiky curves on his shoulder and downwards pretty unnecessary, but at the same time, I can't help but feel that also gives him that rough touch of raw power. But Tyranitar is now sporting a little more of a legendary look or expression than everybody else. Even though he's not a legendary, he looks like, if not a final boss, a boss in a Zelda game. And that's a pretty badass look for a Pokemon. Number 8. Mega Lucario. Unsurprisingly, Lucario received a Mega Evolution. Unsurprisingly, because it is one of the more popular Pokemon and Game Freak has to get that cash money out of popular Pokemon. It was one of the first revealed Mega Pokemon too, so I guess you could say it was surprising Lucario did receive a Mega Evolution, but whatever. Let's move on. Lucario is a fan favorite, so Game Freak had to do a solid job of keeping Lucario a fan favorite. I believe they succeeded. Mega Lucario adds red colored feet and paws, a cream colored cape, same as the chest, and an extension of each of the four appendages coming from Lucario's head. Two of the long appendages have red added to their tips. I still do not understand what those appendages are, but I like them a lot more on Mega Lucario than I do on regular Lucario. Lucario's feet gain two spikes each, one small and one large. The cream fur around Lucario's neck grows slightly outward to give Lucario a nice rugged look, and black stripes appear in Lucario's legs and arms. 
All in all, this is a very good mega design that does not smother Lucario with accessories or needless apparatuses. Number 7. Mega Mawil Two steel mouths jutting out from your head are better than one. There are certain Pokemon that needed some type of evolution to stay relevant, competitively and in general. Mawil is one of those Pokemon. And while I wanted it to have a real evolution, a mega evolution will do the trick. I've always been irked by Mawil because it's always phasing away from you. I get that the middle mouth sprouting out from its head is the main weapon, but does every single Mawil sprite have to be phasing away from you? The anime does showcase Mawil from the front though. Just a mini rant. Mega Mawil changes the color of Mawil's pants. Bulbapedia calls it fur, but whatever from yellow to magenta, along with the fur near its paws. And a second metal mouth pops up alongside the original mouth. The mouths are more sinister looking than the original mouth on Mawil because of jacked looking teeth and a wavy shape that makes it disturbing and very cool to me at the same time. This mega evolution is in my opinion very cool and good, yet simple. It does a great job of keeping Mawil inherently Mawil, just like Ampharos, but it does not expand much upon Mawil at all. I mean, it's just a color change in some areas and an additional metal mouth. I guess simplicity and a few adjustments can do it for me if it's executed very well. And I honestly do think this design is. Number 6. Mega Banette. Never once in my Pokemon career <coughs> fandom did I ever want a Banette. I like ghost types. Gengar and Dusknor is one of my favorites. But Banette's and its pre-evolution shop it just did not do it for me. I do not know if it was the lack of creepiness, and yes, I have read the Pokedex entries, or just what I believe to be a bad design. I just did not like Banette whatsoever. The gold tail was crap, the zipper dump, and the tail appearing from the head looked strange, but not in a good way for a ghost type. Fast forward to its mega evolution reveal and I just had to find a Banette and its mega stone. Banette gains zippers on its hands, torso, its tail, which is more of a hat on Mega Banette, and one across its face through an eye. What I like about these zippers is that a wang dang doodle. <clears throat> I mean, what I like about these zippers is that something actually comes out of it. Purple fingers come through the hand zippers, and two legs through the torso. It makes Banette's normal design look so terrible in comparison. And I'm so sorry if you like Banette's regular design. This mega evolution is eerie, yet cute, terrifying, yet gorgeous. It's hard to put a single word on Mega Banet, but I will do my best. Mega Banet is spookylicious. I'll get back to that one another time. Number 5. Mega Charizard X. Charizard X finally gives us the Fire Dragon Charizard that we have always wanted and needed. Okay, well, maybe not needed. I still could have sworn Charizard was part dragon when I was 8 and playing Pokemon Red. Charizard is one of the two Pokemon to receive two Mega Evolutions, and one of the six Mega Evolutions to add, drop or change a type. Quite an exciting time we live in, but something seems a bit off with Charizard X. The new wing design is great. The blue flames pouring out of Charizard's mouth are a very nice touch. And it definitely is worth noting the new spiked shoulders, but what is up with the coloration of Charizard X? Blue and black? I freaking love that. It actually works with this design here. But it's just bizarre to go from orange and cream to blue and black. Props to Game Freak for doing something daring and something new. I really uh, respect that. There has been no official explanation. Game Freak normally does not expand upon the Pokemon universe's many unanswered questions, either as to why Charizard X becomes black and blue. Yet many could argue that it is to differentiate between Charizard X and Charizard Y. Or science versus nature, as a few have speculated. Nonetheless, Charizard X definitely emits cool and this design and typing satisfies since Charizard looked like a dragon type from the very beginning of the series. Number 4. Mega Abomasnow. Right away I am drawn to the two crystals jutting out of Mega Abomasnow's backside. I'm going to say they are jutting out of the back of Obama's No, not Obama's No's buttocks, but you can see it however you'd like to see it. The crystals appear to look like crystal missiles about ready to get launched from a silo, or the crystals can be argued to resemble jet engines in ice form. 
two incredible touches that add to the enormity of Mega Abomasnow. Mega Abomasnow has the same color scheme, eye color and general mouth shape as Abomasnow, but definitely looks to be the angrier brother of Abomasnow, with the furrowed brows, hulking fists and just overall bulk to the design. This is one Jedi I would steer clear of regardless of any possible circumstance. Number 3. Mega Alakazam Alakazam just became even more sage with this mega evolution. The growth of an impressive beard, an additional three spoons, and a paling of colors make Mega Alakazam one of the best mega evolutions. Sure, Alakazam had slick facial hair before the mega evolution, but that beard just sends Alakazam's sagacity through the highest ceiling imaginable. I feel wiser just looking at Mega Alakazam. Mega Alakazam levitates the five spoons in the air and its feet clasp together like a pair of hands. Mega Alakazam is fitted with an oval shaped ruby. If it is another gem, then please let me know. It looks like a ruby to me. That is placed on its forehead. The sleeves on Mega Alakazam's wrists become larger, or baggy in a sense, and Alakazam's round shoulder pads become pointy. Seriously though, Game Freak really must have thought that Mega Evolutions really needed wrist accessories. This Mega Evolution takes a solid looking Pokemon and makes it different. And I guess maybe slightly better in some sense. And I think it's cool to be able to switch between two cool looking skins without being disappointed with either of them. Mega Alakazam exudes psychic type tremendously. Number 2. Mega Absol. Mega Absol just got a whole lot more angelic with those wings. That seems counterproductive to a dark type though. Nonetheless, Absol needed an evolution of some sort and I'm glad it got one. The sickle-like horn has become thicker and less menacing, along with a second smaller horn. Absol's hair on its head has grown longer, each angle slash paw has gained more fluff and a spike. The tail has three points. It looks like a pretty cool combo to me. And of course, Absol has gained two wings. When I first saw this design, I was like, ah, it's decent. But after having been accustomed to its more feminine look, if you will, I've grown to really like its design. It's cool, majestic, and just overall a very accomplished design. I just still wish they would have given him a normal evolution to begin with and then have added a mega evolution afterwards. But oh well, I'm extremely happy with this design, so I'm not complaining. Number 1. Mega Houndoom Yes, this is the mega evolution we needed. If mega evolutions filled up Pokedex slots, then this should have been Pokemon 666. The number of the beast is actually 616, but I guess Vivillain will do. Houndoom's horns now point upwards and appear to be thicker. It gains a bone-structured breastplate that has horns jutting out from around the neck. There no longer are bands on Houndoom's hind legs and there are now four total bands, which are broken. On the front legs, its tail is split down the middle and the base of the tail is now protected by bone-like armor. There are also two horns that look like elephant tusks coming out from Houndoom's upper back that comes under the bone breastplate. I'm just in awe of how badass Houndoom is now. I mean, before the Mega Evolution, it was never a Pokemon that I thought was particularly cool or badass. This, my friends, in my shitty opinion, is the Supreme Mega Evolution. Yeah, so let me ask you this obvious question before ending a video like this. What's your favorite Mega Evolution?